Let's be honest here. The majority of the people that come visit the U.S. spend their trip on the coasts, which has given the middle America states the unfortunate nickname of flyover states. Last year, when we threw a dart at a map and flew wherever it landed, we ended up going to Missouri and ended up having a surprisingly profound trip. We felt like we got an introduction into a part of America that I think few people get to experience. And so, given our limited knowledge of small town America, and after stumbling onto an article listing the most boring towns in the country, we wondered, could we somehow fly to the most boring town in America and throw a party there. We'd basically be going to a town so far away that there's no chance we'd know a single living soul anywhere nearby, where you can count the stores in town on one hand and where people most likely live drastically different lives than ours. We'd have less than 48 hours to pull this off, so I guess let's see if a Swedish Frenchman, an Egyptian, and our goofy Irish friend Connor can throw a party in small town America all within 48 hours. So we've done some research and I found this website. It's listed the most boring town in each state. And I've picked out six states that none of us have ever been to before as the mark comes. Come up here, my son. I'm gonna try and ask him a number from one to six and see which one he lands on. What's happening? Give me a number from one to six. Three? Three? <laughs> Mankato, we Kansas. Are, well, we are not going to Kansas, dude. Fuck that. Why? <laughs> That. It's literally listed as the most boring place ever. I mean, nothing against Kansas, but Kansas, dude. <laughs> but it's gonna be so far from anything we've ever experienced from America. It's literally smack in the middle, right? Wait. Look, this is what the town looks like. There's like one street. I think we can have a good time. We'll have a good time. We'll have the greatest time this town has ever seen, that's for sure. This is literally the demographic that we're coming to right now. Tourism website. Kansas, here we come. Biggest party Kansas has ever seen. We got the speakers, lights, now we gotta go. Hey. Fourth man is here. Going on the trip of our lives to Mankato. Oh my god. To get there is extremely complicated. There's three connecting flights, and then we have to drive an hour and a half. Oh god. What have I signed myself up for? Alright, let's go. The goal is to have a party that goes down in the town's history. It becomes like the story that the people who are going to party with us tell their kids and their grandkids. You guys want Connor to play something? Yeah. I'm an amazing country singer, born and raised in Mankato. Bye. <laughs> hey, he's Kansas? Dude, this isn't even the small airport. This is the bigger airport in Kansas. Does anyone happen to be from Mankato? Or anyone heard of it? Know anything about it? Not only is no one on this plane from Mankato, but no one's even heard of it. And they're all from Kansas. Really good sign. <laughs> More hours deeper into Kansas. Kato, here we go. Here's the reality of what we're trying to do right now. We're showing up into a small town, somewhere between 300 and 800 people, and they have no idea we're coming, and we're gonna try and throw a party there. I feel like a part of it is how you pitch it, right? If we yeah. say we're here to throw a party in the most boring town in America, they might be like, we probably get chased what? out of town. Yeah. But if we, if we show them that we're trying to prove it wrong, then yeah. we're, we're gonna yeah. show that it's not the most boring town. Then mm -hmm. we're on their team. The Back party the adventure <laughs> officially begin. Oh my god! <laughs> the challenge just got like <laughs> it's just got way real. real. There's nothing here. At least there's the gas station. There's the gas station. That's good. Why do you feel confident? Wow. I do the fifth right now. <laughs> this looks like the definition of a ghost town. 
This looks like if they pull up a ghost town with a like tumbleweed blown across it in a movie, this is what they would pull up. There's literally no one. It's only like eight o'clock or something, isn't it? No. You know when if you're in a competition in any sport and you see your opponent that you're sizing up, it's kind of like that. It's like, all right, I think, I think we can take it. I'm just thinking back on every single person we met today who just went, Mankato? Really? Why are you going there? Welcome to our uh, Kansas home. Oh. This is sick. Oh. Thomas, this is the only Airbnb in the entire town. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, boys, let the journey begin. It's about to get, it's about to put on a party. We're gonna give this town a great time and we're gonna have a blast. There's a yeah. <laughs> there's like three restaurants. Buffalo Room Rome Steakhouse. Ooh. Buffalo Steakhouse for breakfast, boys. <laughs> oh, we're here already? This was one block from our house. I mean Dude, the, 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 whole the town is one square mile. Everything is gonna be one minute away from our house. Oh god. Buffet, go to the soup and salad bar and eat wherever you like. I feel like I'm looking at a, a set from the 80s, even like looking into the kitchen. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were a local. Well, someone had to dress the part, right? Where was your plan? Uh, we wanted to come to Mankato and see if we could organize some kind of celebration for the town and with the town. Problem is, now you see, I'm, I'm the old man. Like it. Most of the people are a lot older. Than Really? I'm still in the younger 20%. This town has about 750 to 800 people in it. What do you think about this idea? Do you think we're going to be able to create yeah. something? I would walk up Main Street. Emma Possibilities has done more of that kind of stuff. Who has? Who? Emma Possibilities. Is that a store? Yes. Okay. She's on a lot of committees that do yeah. some of the things. Absolutely. I hope you can get something started. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for help. And this is a little town. Yeah. I bet everybody here loves everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's My amazing. wife works at Sweden Cream. We didn't take any flack here. Everybody loves us. It's yeah. a pretty cool little town. It's cool. That's, <laughs> That's awesome. amazing. What kind of party would you want to see? Like what kind of celebration events? Celebration where people can talk. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Music, talking. Yeah. If people would get together and do that more often, it would be less craziness in the world. If people would learn how to talk to each other and not at each other. Because that's a, wow. a lot of people do that. Blah, 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 blah. Wow. She's, she's better at like describing this party than we are. I love her. Too. She that's has to awesome. be at the party. <laughs> yeah. After a good start. After a good start. Really good start. Cheers. Wow. This is during the day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a place that the waitresses at the restaurant guided us towards. They said that there's someone here called Emma who should be able to help us. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm Emma. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you already. Okay. We've been in the town for like an hour and a half. Yeah. Oh, so how did you pick Mankato? Oh, because that's so fascinating. So on this article, it listed the most boring city in each state. And Mankato was on there. And oh, so we so figured, sad. yeah, so I figured let's go and prove this article wrong. Uh -huh. So we've been trying to look for people that are in the community that could help us yeah. bring people together. So that's why we wanted to talk to you. So do you guys want to come see kind of downtown? Because there's some yeah. people you can meet. Yeah, that would be yeah. Great. There's the girl who runs a hair shop on the corner. And okay. I think she would be somebody we should go talk to. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Let's, let's do do that. Do that. Celebration would be the so far, there's just the sense of community, the fact that everybody knows everyone. Yeah. Like, hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> We decided to go somewhere very far and very unfamiliar and throw a celebration for that so place. Was How'd you like to party? That's <laughs> <laughs> right. We were talking about where we could go. Nice. Dakota Shock would be fun. We could just go over there. Are you, do you have an appointment? Okay. I have that till 2.30. Oh. <laughs> yes. yes. So Where else can you take just people out of the shop and make them join the mission like this? Yeah, we're just building up a parade yeah. mob. <laughs> Her husband, our shop, who she's calling right now to see if this is a possibility. All right, bye. So they're busy. I, what do you think about the fire hall? Like in the fire department? Mm -hmm. That'll be lit. <laughs> okay. So we're now walking to the fire department to see if we could potentially ask them if we could host a party there. We would love to have an event where we provide drinks and the drinks snacks. And, 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 hi. 
Yeah, were you looking for us? Yeah, I'm with the uh, Jewel yeah. County newspaper. I want to do a short story on you and yeah, get you in the paper next week. Yeah. See, that would be great. <laughs> the we're word always spread so fast. Kind of we are. We are. Doing an interview for the local newspaper. Cast track us down. Mm -hmm. Do you really think of anybody with like a big private party space? Or what about James? Oh, yes. James! Yes. James. <laughs> Manages the grocery store and he had this old barn and he rebuilt it and put his own bar in there because we didn't have a bar wow. in town. A Renovated barn. his own barn, put a bar in there. Oh okay. yeah, you gotta go see that. Okay, great. We might go. Are we doing that right now? Yeah. This motion okay. doesn't stop, Tom. This guy I'll does. just walk along. along. Yeah, yeah, come with us. <laughs> because I know the manager. The news reporter is coming with us. Yes. Tom, it's his cousin. Oh, it's your cousin. The manager is my cousin. That's amazing. Dude, what is happening? I know. <laughs> Within the span of two hours, probably way more people than we think know about this already. Yeah. The guy just found us on the street. Yeah. I'm Connor. Connor. Nice so basically, we're just visiting town to make a video about throwing a party. Um, and we heard of your barn. Yeah. Um, obviously, we understand that that's your home and we right. don't want to intrude, but right. we we're just wondering if this is something you'd be Kansas open to University potentially girl. hosting. <laughs> Yeah, we could probably do it. Yeah, give me a, a little while to kick it around. But okay. Yeah, we'll come back in an hour and check okay. in. And okay. Yeah. All right. Let's All right. Okay. All right. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. You bet. Let it yes. I think so. I think so. I mean, he just wants to process things. Well, we don't officially have uh, permission that we can go to James's barn, but we're gonna go anyway and check it out. No, oh, that's alright. Let's go check out the barn. Whoa. This is kind of cool. <laughs> we even could like get some games going out here or something. Could yeah. Use this yeah. Space. So many uh, possibilities. Hey, how you doing? Well, I'm just I'm uncomfortable about the whole thing. I, I just is there any way we can make it easier for you, or can, if you want people out by a specific time, we'll make sure everybody's out at that specific time. Yeah, I mean, I'd say till ten because I mean. Get to my advanced age, you need your beauty rest. <laughs> well, we can give it a whirl and discuss what we need. Amazing. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, see you, you, James. So we have a venue. You find you in the venue. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys. Thanks for spending so much of your time doing this. You are welcome. I'm glad it worked out with me. There's just so, magic in the air right now. Things, things are watch. lining up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're back at the steakhouse. We're gonna see if we can get some food catered for tomorrow night for our little event. Hey, Carl. Come on in. Good to see you. I'm back. <laughs> so we walked around town. We met Emma. We oh. met uh, Lindell. I, I called him. Yeah, yeah, We're always you. looking for a story, something yeah. for our paper. Yeah. It's so That's dead. Right. You guys are the most interesting thing in the last three years. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we figured it'd be a good way to get people excited to come is just to, to cater some food, but obviously pay for that. Exactly. Do the yeah. meat and the sliders. Yeah, I right. can do that. And obviously. You're welcome to come to the party. We want you there. Absolutely. <laughs> we might come down afterward. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. People are so kind and so hospitable. Just we have seen nothing but generosity and openness, and just people always willing to help. And obviously, like I, it's always in my head of like, oh, is it gonna matter that I'm Arab or Muslim or I look different? I'm sure it exists, but so far I have not had an experience with anyone who treated me different just because of the way I look. Even coming here and thinking like, oh, this is the last place I would hear about someone being gay. Our waitress earlier today and, and the reporter that shared with me that his youngest son is gay and he's driving trucks with his fiance. Stuff like that blows my mind. And I think this is the beauty about telling stories from places that are so unfamiliar is that it, they get to challenge your preconceived notions about, about these people and these places. So definitely feeling grateful, especially walking out with cinnamon buns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's the morning and I just woke up to this text. It says, yo, Rachel Dalton here. I'm hollering at local bands for this barn hoedown. Is that something you'd be interested in or even have room for a band? I'm stressed out about music and need to know it's covered. Wait, why was she? Who is she? Why was she <laughs> no, I don't have her number. It's called officially a barn hoedown. Barn <laughs> What's a hoedown? What's that? I think it's like a dance, isn't it? You know, they're like the... Yeah. Oh, my hat! <laughs> my hat's gonna be perfect for the hoedown. Game day. It's 1.42. We've had a bit of a late start today, but... We're uh, trying to figure out what we need to do before the party starts. Okay, the Walmart is 50 minutes away. <clears throat> we got too comfortable this morning. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we took our time. We got a little distracted, eh? Oh! Come on, we need to organize this party. What are you doing? The king of procrastination strikes again. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. 
is the most procrastination I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, we've been meeting people who are like, the party, your party guys. Like, yeah, how'd you hear? Yeah. Should we just buy everything in the store? We'll go full Mr. Beast, buy yeah. everything, put it on a Mars credit card. <laughs> Drink tonight. <laughs> yeah, can we? Wait, is that permanent? No. Connor, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Pink, I think, is my color. Yeah. Population. This place. It's gonna be the best looking barn this time has ever seen. We're gonna set up a grid up here. Maybe a DJ. Them, just up there by the potatoes. Look at that. Wow. About to go check out Connor's pink hair. But before we go, remember to subscribe. Well, actually, 50% of the people that watch the videos are not subscribers. So click the subscribe button, like this video if you're enjoying what you're watching so far. Let's go check out how Connor looks. I look amazing. It's like almost a better idea than the actual part. How did this happen? <laughs> I was in the car on the way here just thinking like, wait a minute. 30 seconds ago we were in the grocery store and now I'm getting my hair done. Like, what the hell happened? It's <laughs> <laughs> a lady magnet. One of those reverse magnets where it just pushes everything away. You know? All man Canadian women. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> you look so <laughs> cute. You look so cute. What have you done to me? Better be one hell of a party. That's all I'm going to say. I have not been to a police station in America yet. Hopefully, I only go in there voluntarily. But we decided to come in and uh, invite the sheriff. We should have done this before the pink hair. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's a YouTube channel called Yes Theory. Yes Theory. Yes Theory. So. All right, cool. Yeah. It's just yeah, one we'll stop by. So amazing. Have some awesome. 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 Thanks, guys. It's all set up. We're ready. Now the town's just gonna show up. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. We're excited to have you guys. We're kind of old, but we're still Oh, we're gonna dance today. We're we're all dancing. Sean, is Sean? I'm all good. Thank you so much. Just by the flag. Little dab will do you for a while. That's good. Thank you. We just arrived. I think that's the final piece. We have so much food. Look at all the people. There's a lot. I've just been approved. I've just been told my cowboy hat is genuine and I've got approval. You're a cowboy. <laughs> yes. Let's get everybody back here. I want to say a word or two for the beautiful people of Mankato. Yeah, Mankato! Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. I don't know who, how many of you have context for what we're here to do or who we are, but we have a YouTube channel called Yes Theory, and on the channel we try to go on adventures and go on missions that push us out of our comfort zone and get us to experience things that we wouldn't experience otherwise. For this mission, we wanted to go to a place that is so far from home and so unfamiliar boring. to any of us. <laughs> Not boring, that was the whole point. But basically how we found out about M Mankato is through uh, an article online that listed, unfortunately, listed the most boring towns in each state. They don't know you, but that's why we're here. So far what we've experienced has been nothing short of generous, open, and warm. And it's, it's been a true pleasure. I moved to the States three years ago and, and I've been, it's, it's been amazing just to get to see different parts of America, but what a pleasure. It's been being in Mankato, not the most boring town in America, the warmest, most yeah. kind yeah. place in America. Yeah. 
and Brenda here is gonna bless us with some tune. Turn it up. When we initially arrived in Mankato, we were afraid that people in a small town would be guarded, that there'd be nothing to do there, and that the residents would actually rather be living in a big city. But while we were speaking at the local school one night, Emma shared with us one of the reasons why she moved back to Mankato. So you guys were kind of like, oh, I don't want to come back here, like it's really boring, but I came back here, my husband's back here, and we actually are never bored. We have so many things to do. That was really hard to decide in college because all of my friends were getting jobs at big fancy companies. But coming back here has been really awesome and happy and there's so many things that you can do here that have such a high impact. Your existence in this town and then the groups you volunteer with and the businesses you help build, the impact of that is massive compared to what it would be in a, in a bigger city because then you're just one in a million. And here, you're preserving the town that your grandparents helped build and your parents helped build where everybody loves you and you have the chance to keep helping the town survive so the reality is yes in a small town there aren't as many readily available things to do but that in no way means that the town is boring for everyone in fact you have influence over your environment just like James, who because there wasn't a bar in town, decided to build one in a barn to bring people together. And if there's no filmmaker community in your city and you're passionate about film, go start one. Our point is, don't wait for someone else to create the environment that you crave. Because when you go out and create it for yourself, you draw in the supportive community of like-minded people that help you achieve that passion. And along the way, those people can easily become friends for life. We'll see you next week. But before we go, we just want to give a quick thank you to our sponsor for this video, Honey. Honey is a free browser extension that automatically finds the best promo codes whenever you shop online. This means you instantly get the best deals on over 20,000 websites like Amazon, Macy's, or Target, which is perfect for saving money for this upcoming holiday season. Those of you who've already downloaded Honey using our link in the past have saved over $1 million. And I've actually used Honey to get the best deal to buy a movement watch for a friend of mine for Christmas, which ended up saving me $10. To install Honey, just go to joinhoney.com slash yes theory. Click add Honey, it's free. Then click add to Chrome and you're all set to start saving. It's completely free and only takes two clicks to install. So again, go to joinhoney.com slash yes theory to start saving money on your holiday shopping. And we'll see you next week.